College students might want to actually get paid for their work. No, not this one. Actually, I don't care about that one. Um, college students might actually want to get paid for generating obscene levels of wealth for the college industry. And I do say industry because college professional sports is an industry. Uh, we talked about this just the other day. Jamel Hill said, that black athletes should be going to historically black colleges um, if they're not going to be paid. And she made a broader economic argument about that, which, of course, the right had a meltdown and misinterpretation of. And, and that's an invitation for black athletes at universities that aren't taking this issue, issues, any issues on race seriously to withhold their labor, perhaps. Absolutely. Um, but the reality and, and, you know, just even think more broadly. OK, there's the number one problem that. People generating enormous wealth as laborers are not getting compensated. That's innately wrong, period, case closed. If you don't get that, you're delusional. And then think about, as an example, you know, a college football player who's not going to make it into the NFL. They're doing a sport that could have lifelong physical and cognitive consequences on their bodies to make money for a league that they will not have a broader compensated future in, which is the argument, kind of like the internship argument, which, by the way, unpaid internship should also obviously be immediately made illegal. That's, um, you know, and that's not going to happen for a lot of them. But if we did pay these laborers for their labor, there is one very big idiot that would have his experience significantly altered. And that very big idiot is Brian Kilmeade. Think about this. Would you watch a game just with these same athletes if they weren't representing your school? So Ohio State, you might love that team. Oh, they're playing for Ohio State. What if they were just playing for Ohio and they're just representing? Then, then, they're, then they look as the second tier under the NFL. The thing that makes college sports attractive <laughs> is they represent something, school right. and tradition. If you're going to pay them, just understand you're, they're no longer students. Right. And the whole uh, the whole theory of playing college sports are, is over. And their loyalties well, are to endorsements rather right. than the school. Yeah. <laughs> but would they be playing for Ohio State or the Ohio State? Well, the what? the was not allowed to be trained. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, there would be AAA. There would be the second best football league in the country, which would not have the attraction of the networks or the endorsements. Well, right, let's, let's get rid let's, of the uh, endorsements. Though. Yeah, let's get rid of the endorsements and the networks. Let's take that risk, Brian. Let's take that risk for paying laborers, giving free labor away to industries that are uh, make, raking in millions of dollars. Let's take that risk. Wouldn't they have more loyalty to the schools if the schools are actually paying them? I think he's talking about the fans. He's talking about the fans. Oh, right. He doesn't care about the kids. That we've established. Yes, he definitely doesn't care. Uh, I need to call back into the system. Um, we'll only take one or two more calls if we can, but I got knocked out. I love out. the idea that uh, the second you start paying kids, like everyone's just going to stop watching college sports. The illusion is bro like, it's yeah. the like it's a magician bro or something. Well, you know, when I found out, I mean, people ask me why I'm so you know mean to Brian Kilmeade. And it was like when I found out that he got paid, that he wasn't just having like a friendly breakfast conversation with his friends where they worried about the Republic, but he's getting paid to do that. He's getting paid to be on Fox and Friends. I don't get paid to hang out with my friends. I was a little disturbed by that. You're, you're getting paid to do this. And we're your friends, Michael. Well, that's true, but mm. we should have kept mm. that quietly. Also, Brendan's <laughs> no, not know. my friend. No, I know. I'm just... Yeah. Uh, no, well, you were doing that. We're comrades. We're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> or definitely not that. I think the rubber is going to hit the road with paying college athletes once they break down which sports make money under Title IX and which ones don't and how they're going to distribute money to athletes. Well, then and that's when they're going to divide them and break the whole movement. Right. So I hope that doesn't happen. But then it could just be, well, it could be redistribution like anything else. Yeah. Like, you know, obviously certain, you know, basketball and football brings in money. Whatever ends up happening. And subsidize the other ones. Yeah, whatever ends up happening, the most, like the, um, the, the stability will not like i don't think it will end up being a, like how unequal it is now yeah exactly. Will be stable. No, exactly that needs to be maintained throughout this whole process jay cool hey my